So here's a fun update on some testing I've been doing, trying to decrease the cost of network 3D printing. Uh, I have here our old friend Rosinante, a uh, crappy, cheapo little belt printer, not belt printer, delta printer. Um, and it is, uh, previously it was being controlled with this, uh, you know, very crispy looking uh, Pi 3 just mounted up on here. Um, but I wanted to try and find a lower cost solution to actually connecting the printer. Um, enter the uh, Wemos S2 Mini, it's a ESP32 S2 uh, small dev board. Um, and that board has support for USB host mode uh, as well as USB serial uh, drivers. So what I'm going to try and do is we've got our printer. It's just hooked up via you know power there, and I've got a USB micro cable uh, attached to the usual port, uh, and a janky little uh, USB A to C connector on here. Um, and on the ESP32 S2, I have uh, set the serial output to use UART. Uh, so this is a uh, FT232. Uh, USB to serial, um, like debugger, uh, connected to my computer over there. Uh, you can see that it's currently uh, reading and searching for uh, VCP, virtual COM port devices. Um, and my hope is that I can connect this to the printer. Uh, I can connect to a web socket, uh, not a web socket, but a socket, TCP socket, um, that's being hosted by the ESP32 S2 and use that to control the printer and read its statuses and stuff. And this is a uh, very, very early stage um, uh, software development for trying to make this work with Octoprint, with you know tens, hundreds, as many printers as you want, uh, all using this cheapo $3, $3 or $4 uh, Wi-Fi chip. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to connect the uh, USB-C to the board here with one hand, of course. Yep. Uh, and I think I might have nudged it, uh, which is why it's connecting and rebooting and whatever. Um, you can see it is connected to uh, 1.113. And it, you can actually see that now it's receiving uh, USB serial data from the printer. These are actually the temperature uh, readouts that you would see in the Octoprint terminal. Um, so I'm going to go over to my other terminal here. Uh, here and I'm going to do a netcat command. So just gonna, just going to open up a socket on uh, 1.113 port triple quadruple three whatever. Uh, connection succeeded. You can see that socket accepted IP address there. Uh, and I'm going to do a G28. So running G28 command here. Uh, we'll see it receives it and going over here. A little hard to tell, but it is actually homing there. So I'm going to run that command again. G28. And try and steady my arm here a little bit. So there you have it. So this is now controlled by the ESP32 S2 uh, over uh, Wi-Fi, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Um, so that takes the cost down from, you know, however much Raspberry Pi's cost nowadays to about $4 plus some cables. More to come.